seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Oh, hey, hey. insiders. Hey, y'all. I thought she was going to open it up. Sorry. Hey, insiders. What's happening, y'all? We hope that y'all are having a good day, a good week, all that good stuff. Yes, indeed. Mace and I are off work together, and we thought that this would be, hello, the perfect opportunity to share our I'm coming out story. Why you didn't tell me you was going to do all that? I would have joined you. I'm sorry. I want the world to know. That's why. <laughs> I didn't tell you. <laughs> so you want to go first? Okay. No, baby, you go first. Okay. Jinx my money, by the way. Go ahead, man. Hey, she does that. Okay, y'all. So I officially just came out for real in real life when Mason and I got engaged. Wait a minute. Explain that because that sounds Let me break better. that okay. down. Okay. So I Facebook came out when Mason and I got engaged. Okay. However, I officially told like my parents and stuff found out when I was 12 years old. Um, I had wait, 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 wait. So you was... Yeah, I know. Okay. I know. Your girl is known for a minute, okay? Um, I had my first girlfriend when I was 12 and... Ooh. ooh and we legit function like a couple. You know, in my mind, I didn't see anything wrong or different. It just kind of naturally happened. It was one of those, will you be my girlfriend, circle yes or no kind of situation. And you circled yes. I circled yes. Yeah. I circled I yes. Or did you give the no? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. I was on the receiving end of the okay. no. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, my parents found out. Of course, they were disappointed. They were not happy about it. Understandably so. First of all, I'm 12. Uh, second of all, I'm a lesbian. Mm -hmm. Bit concerning. Um, so after that, I kind of, me and her broke up. I moved on, we moved. I went to high school. I started dating guys, getting into some dudes or whatever. And um, it was cool, but it was more so friendship. Like I didn't really see more than that. I didn't see myself being in a relationship with them. So um, by college, I had no longer was dating guys. I was back to girls and pretty much strictly girls. You know, guys just here and there go out to dinner because I like to eat, but that's about it. And they was playing? Absolutely. Okay. And, <laughs> and so after that, I officially just started dating girls and I started coming out to my friends slowly but surely, just kind of on the need to know, which is just my personality anyway. I kind of tell my business to people who need to know, no need to kind of broadcast. Exactly, mainly because it's not anybody's business, not because I was ashamed. So um, a lot of my friends knew, people I was close to, they were knew, they knew. Um, but once Mason and I got together, they started getting really serious. We you know, got a house and she proposed and I was like, yeah, this is happening. Life is happening. Yeah. Um, it's time. Yeah. So I officially made like this post. So all of my friends, family, everyone, co-workers. And I feel like I come out every other trip anyway when I fly with somebody new because I don't see the same people. So it's kind of exciting. <laughs> <laughs> and they're always shocked though, right? They are always very, very shocked. Yeah. Only because I'm so feminine. They're like, oh, really? Well, congratulations. I'm so excited. I would have never known. Yeah. But that's the beauty of this whole thing. You know? That's the beauty of being a lipstick lesbian. That's very true. Okay. Very true. You got it so easy. Well, what can I say? Oh, <laughs> All right, honey, you're on. You are so silly. Um, well, my coming out story uh, wasn't really even supposed to be my coming out story. Um, I was living, I moved to LA a year after college. So I was like out there, all my family and friends, they were in Michigan. So I was kind of just doing my own thing, living my own life. Mm -hmm. um, not necessarily Two different lives, but two different lives, so. One in the day, two in the night. That's not even a word. So. Oh. Oh. Yeah, let's, let's Google that real quick. Um, anyway, so, I guess I kind of was living two lives, because I would come to Detroit. I mean, I wouldn't change my dress or anything, but nobody knew, like, my personal business, so. I was in LA, and I was dating this, this girl at the time, and um, we broke up which ended up being a lesbian breakup. You know how we do. We you just know the dramatics. Yeah, we, we break up and then two hours later we back together. But mm -hmm. I really did feel like this was the last time. So I was like, man, I, I just, I, my heart was broken. I was just super mm -hmm. sad. But you know, sometimes like only your mom can make you feel better. Like you just, 
for sure. Like, I just needed to talk to my mom. So I called home and my big brother Will, he happened to be in town. Um, and he was at my mom's house, so he answers the phone. So he, um, my big sister Maya, and then a few of my other friends, they knew, um, but obviously not my parents. So I called the house, he picks up, he's like, hey sis, what's up? I'm like, yo brother, I need to talk to you. You know, like I'm going through something right now. And then in the middle of me telling him that, like I just bust out crying and I'm like, oh, and he's like, okay, trying to cover it up. Like, okay, sis, well I'll hit you as soon as I leave your mom's house. And just as he's about to hang up the phone, my mom's like, oh, let me talk to her. So he's like, yo, mom wants to talk to you. And I'm like, okay, so I'm trying to pull myself together. My nose is running, like you can hear just in my voice. I'm trying to, I'm trying to pull it together. So she gets on the phone and she's like, hey. And I'm like, hey. And she's like, what's wrong? And I'm like, dun 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 dun. I'm like, no, no, nothing's wrong. I'm, I'm good. Nothing's wrong. She's like, I know when something is wrong with you. What's wrong? So we went back and forth for a minute. I'm trying to swerve and down. Nothing's wrong. And then she's like, listen, whatever it is, I probably already know. And I'm like, mom, I can't talk to you about it. And she was like, yes, you can. And then I just broke down crying like, oh my God, me and my girlfriend just broke up and I don't know what to do, da, 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 da. She was like, okay, calm down, calm down. Pull yourself together. She's like, you know, I already knew. She was like, but you know, I want you to know I love you and you know, you'll always be my daughter. And I was like, mm -hmm. What? That was definitely not the reaction I thought I was gonna get. Cause if that was the case, I would have told her years ago. ago. Right, for real. Mm -hmm. um, I really did think we were gonna have a Bible conversation in that moment, mm -hmm. and um, you know the the main scriptures were gonna get thrown at me, mm -hmm. and that whole conversation was gonna happen, but it didn't. So I am still to this day very grateful um, that her reaction was what it was. Um, now the next day, <laughs> now the next day, right. we end up having that conversation, which, you know, I mean, that was to be expected, but nonetheless, in that moment when I felt like I needed her the most to really just say okay and accept me, she did. So, um, that was, that was definitely a blessing. So, it is. so yeah. you guys can see the stark differences in our coming out. Um, I was much younger. Mace mm -hmm. was an adult mm -hmm. by the time she decided, but Mace also dress the way that she does right pretty much your whole life that and and that's the crazy part because i mean for you obviously most people probably would look at megan and not just think that she would oh, be lesbian nice. at all yeah um but for me because i do you know i am masculine and i dress in in men's clothes which i have been since like the fourth grade when i started playing basketball um people just always knew that that was that was me you know it was like oh she just dresses like a tomboy right because i had a boyfriend for, for through what? high school college through high, yeah high school like my last two years for like five five and a half years I and mean, she dressed pretty much no i dressed like just this. like this she just had hair I, yeah, yeah. Imagine her with inches. Okay, don't do too much. All right, and y'all don't go be looking at my uh, Instagram, trying to find scroll the old back, phone. Scroll back, y'all. Don't even do it. Um, but yeah, so everybody just thought, you know, it was me, and I was a tomboy, and I was that, um, which it really was. Like mm -hmm. I really mm -hmm. did not she know at the know. time that I was even remotely attracted to women. I actually used to get very offensive. When like girls would hit on me, I'm like, yo, what you mean? You know, like I'm, that's real disrespectful. Right. Um. So yeah, it, it's it, it's crazy. So and the Take good thing about us being able to share our story is it it allows people to see that everybody's story is different. Mm -hmm. Everybody's walk with this is going to be different. Whether you choose to make an announcement on social media since it's so big now, or whether you choose to personally tell people who are important to you. It's all up to you. There is no right way to come out. There's mm -hmm. no wrong way to come out. Mm -hmm. You just have to do what's comfortable for you and make sure that you're sure of yourself because right. people respect that so much more. Mm -hmm. They may not like it and they don't have to because mm -hmm. there are a lot of things that I don't like, but nevertheless, I have to respect people and their choices and that's all that you can really ask for. Absolutely. And then the other thing is to do it on your own time. You know what I mean? Don't let people pressure you into mm -hmm. um, telling the world uh, it's funny because we always say like straight people don't make an announcement right. to tell everybody they're straight. So uh, lesbians, gays, bi, transgender, whatever you choose, whatever you are, 
you don't have to make a big announcement. You know, everybody thinks like you should come up like, hey, I'm gay. Yeah, and with it's your like, rainbow flag. Yeah, like, Is that your choice? I mean, that's it's cool. Okay. But, but you do it the way you want to do it mm -hmm. and, and how you want to do it and when you want to do it. Like that's the, if, if I could give or if we could give anybody any piece of advice is just to do it when you're comfortable. Like, like Megan said, make sure you're sure of yourself and uh, make sure it's something you want to do. And, uh, and in not. a sense, when it comes to your parents, especially, or mm -hmm. family, grandparents, just make sure that you're being respectful as well of them too. Just, just think of how it's going to make them feel. At the end of the day, you're going to do what you want to do. But by the same token, <laughs> but by the same token, ultimately, we know that these people do love you and do care right. about you and want the best for you above all else. Right. And sometimes they're just afraid and they don't have the right information right. to help you and to be supportive. So as long as, as you're sure of yourself, you give them information that helps them along the way, figuring this thing out, I think that that's helpful. That's all you can do. That, you can't make somebody love it, like it, and respect it. Right. That is true. But, you know, it helps. It, and Maine and I differ when it comes to that. I don't I don't think you should be disrespectful or you right. should just, you know, have no regard as to how people may feel about it. But I also don't believe that you should spoon feed people. Right. You know what I mean? This is your life. Mm -hmm. Um and people will either deal with it or, or not. They won't. That's you know what I mean? True. Don't sugar coat. Don't sugarcoat, don't mm -hmm. lie, don't put on this facade like Oh no, like you be yourself mm -hmm. and you let people deal with whether they want to deal with you or not. Because people, people, that's what people do. People Very live true. their lives. I mean, no matter what it is, they live their lives and they expect for people to accept it. So right. it should be no different in my opinion, you know, when it comes to your lifestyle and who you want to be with, like live your life. And if they, if they love you, they'll go with it. If not, then they're lost. What did I say? Two tears in a book? Okay. Never mind. Ooh, this is good. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, we're gonna have to edit but that. But that was good. That was good though, because I did learn some of that from Mace too. That that kind of helped me eventually to say, I, I am who I am, I know who I am, and I need to be okay with that. Mm -hmm. And here I am. Absolutely Strong okay with that. I am serving y'all clavicle today. Okay, but wow. Okay. Right. I can't. I can't. <laughs> anyway, um, we appreciate y'all watching. And um, subscribing, and commenting, commenting and liking, and liking and sharing, and all that. If you guys that have jazz. any questions or you want to share your coming out story, mm -hmm. or if you have to do or any advice, absolutely, we'd love to hear it. And I'm sure other subscribers would love to hear those stories as yeah. well. So whether they're good, bad, ugly. ugly. Ooh, jinx my money. No, no jinx my money. See, no, no. Oh, I got you think it. because you're louder. No. That, that makes you get I'm the money. Just, I'm faster too, so anyway. Um, I win as I always do. Anyway, guys, we appreciate y'all watching. We will catch y'all later. Later. Wait a minute, hold on, I gotta say. Thanks for rocking yeah. with us. <laughs> I had to get it in. Alright, y'all. We'll see y'all in the next one. Bye y'all. Later. Peace insiders.